Hello and welcome back again to our YouTube channel Excel Bus Testing where you will learn in easy simple way. In last video we saw how to design the test cases. We saw test case design techniques. In today's video we will see how to write the test cases by using those design techniques. So let's get started. As a test engineer we either get the test case required means either in the form of document or directly develop software and manager tell us to write the test cases for that so what we should do as a test engineer we should apply test case design techniques and write down the scenarios by using those scenarios we should write the test cases we should apply the standard test case format you can write the test cases in the excel sheets or there are some test management software available in the market so you can opt for that we are going to see how to write the test cases in excel sheet so this is our excel sheet format uh, here you should give the name your, your na test case sheet name should start with tc underscore your feature name or your module name what you are going to test elaborately so this is your test case name And this is our test case format. Uh, we should write few things before the test test starts, and then we should write the test cases. So what will be those things? Your test case name, then your project name, your feature or module, test case title or sub module, prerequisite if it is there, designed or created by, designed or created date, executed by, executed date, and reviewed by. And your test case will be test case ID, module name, test cases, test data, steps, test steps, expected result, actual result, status, comments and defect ID. We are going to see how to write the test cases for one text box of which age text box which accepts the age between 18 to 56. So let's start and let's see how to write the test cases. Whenever requirement comes, analyze it and write down the scenarios by applying the test case design techniques. Here our requirement is 18 to 56 age text box. So first step we have to identify which test case design techniques are applicable. So for text box of age there are three test cases design techniques are applicable. Equivalence partitioning, boundary value analysis and error guessing. After identifying which techniques are suitable, go and write down the test scenarios and then common scenarios you can discard. So applying these techniques we have come up with some scenarios like check the age between uh, 18 to 56 what is our requirement is. So uh, our scenarios could be check the age below 18, 18 in which uh, in between 18 to 56. 56 and above 56 on top of that error guessing scenarios will be check for blank space special characters alphabets etc so total for one text box of age we can write eight test cases so like this you can uh, write down the scenarios and then you can convert it into test cases so let's see how to convert this into test cases so always start with the positive test cases positive test cases means along with your requirement your requirement is 18 to 56 so first we'll write our positive test cases that is your 18 56 and we'll check for 18 in between 18 and 56 test case design techniques we sorted out few test cases and now I uh, here I have written uh, one positive and one negative test cases for, test case for you. But you have to you have to always write positive test cases first and then followed by negative test cases. So let's see what I have written for you. So our test case ID is number one. A, your our module name is age text box. Your could be login or wherever that text box lying on. So you, whatever you can write. So here age text box is there. Our test case is check the age text box for age 18. 
सो एंड अवर टेस्ट डेटा इज एज इक्वल टू एटीन सो दिस टेस्ट डेटा विल बी ऑलवेज चेंज एंड देन अवर टेस्ट एप विल बी ओपन द एप्लीकेशन लॉग इन विथ वैलिड क्रेडेंशियल्स एप्टर आफ्टर एंटरिंग द After entering into the home page, enter the value in the text box. Whatever value we have decided, 18. Always write test data. Always write correct test data or whatever you are testing with that test data should include in your test case. Otherwise, uh, whenever you are whenever you open test case in the next time, you will not able to understand. by using which test case test data you have executed those test cases so always write test data with it so we are entering 18 in age in our text box so that is valid test case because our text box contains 18 to 56 so whatever what is our expected result is age text box should accept the value this will be our ex- uh, expected result This is our positive test case. You can write sim, uh, same test case for 56 and uh, between 18 to 56 age also. These are our positive test scenarios. And then for negative test case, I have written uh, model name is same age text box and text test case will be check the age text box for the age below 18. Here age 18 we ha- we have written here I am checking for below 18 so our age is 15 we are checking with the age 15 for our text box then uh, same uh, steps will be there because we are entering into same application same by same steps and then expected result will be age text box should not accept the value. because our uh, requirement is 18 to 56 so 15 should not accept it and your system should throw proper error message either it will be uh, uh, enter the value between 18 to 56 or your age is inappropriate please enter appropriate age or something like that your system should throw some error message so this is our expected result similarly you can write the negative test cases for of a uh, blank space uh, then uh, above 56 then alphabets then special character every time here you have to change for the uh, test case change the text box for uh, check the age for the text box for special characters okay blank space check the age text box for blank space then your test data is blank space you can write or you cannot write it's okay and then here also same message will be there that blank space should not accept or uh, your system should throw proper error message like this you can write the test cases so once your test case writing is done these test cases you will send to your manager or your lead or your developer to review it and then once review is done you are good to go for testing actual testing then once you uh, take the first test case and test it with your application if you are uh, then write down the actual result here in actual result text the uh, box compare the expected result and actual result and if both are same then your test case is pass if both are different then your test case is fail if your test case is fail then report a bug and write the defect id in defect id box so like this we follow this t- uh, test case ra- sheets in our organizations and it is simple uh, procedure to follow So this is it for today. Hope you like this video. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Please share it to your friends and family. And please subscribe to our channel. We post videos on every Tuesday and Friday. Happy testing. Bye bye.